Entering Forlorn Armory. That jump barely changed the scenery. Transmitting rendezvous point now. Nobody's rendezvousing with us, Betty Jr. <laughs> yeah, that's always a bit awkward, isn't it? Transmitting rendezvous point now. Chemist, weapons guy, ah, Garrus. Um, I'm kidding. I suppose Mass Effect is a series I could take a shot at. No, oh, hey, nothing wrong with a MILF. If they're cute, go for it. Liquid metal. Cute, into you, appealing personality. New coordinates to no problem. Ships. Metallurgical! I found one! Yay! Hello, mate. Show me your skills, please. And he sucks at his job. Well... See, there you go, man. If she likes you, she looks great. Everybody's up for it. Go get it wet. Wow, I'm terrible. Hello, anti-gamers gate fans. I totally don't hate women. I actually think they're kind of neat. I married one. <laughs> oh, ouch. That's harsh. You're going to see the day you hide me as your most lucky day, sir. Okay, so what we need to do... Oh, is kill that titural. You want to see how good this gun is? Watch this shit. Oh good, he got aboard before I jetted away. Alright, so his shields are at 22% and his hull at 100%. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, dead. Seven and a half seconds to destroy that ship. Fear my mighty laser. You know, I noticed on the forums that they call, uh, the players, that is, um, they call the titural tits. I'm just flying my tits around, which is just hilarious. Your assistance was really appreciated. Here are your credits. I didn't even notice, but yeah. For station of attackers. Wow, Plutech really likes me now. I'm such a whore. Scanny things, scanny things. I'm scanning all the things. The hell? Oh, fuck you, game! I hate that. It teases the little icon, then it disappears when you zoom on it. Is there? Let's test it. As soon as you type, uh, say something, like the word something, and then as soon as you say it, I'll go boo. <laughs> uh oh. Blah. So how long a delay was that? This is the Albion's requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Oh yeah, I should probably craft some crap, huh? So Hayes fucks people up, I think. 
Damn, yeah, it was. <laughs> so Plutarch, Albion, and Argon all hate this shit, and I'm carrying a bunch of it around. Well, go me. Paranite jewelry is widely accepted to be the most beautiful and most precious in known space, though it is only rarely found outside of... Well, that's disappointing. It is, however, very easy to counterfeit, and this fake jewelry has become a valued commodity on... I have two rare engines. Uh, eight bunches of red water. Oh, two Haxor devices. <laughs> I just need two more spacefly eggs, and I can make a spacefly collection. Holy shit, I've got seminars already. Huh. Well, I could improve. Damn it, now I feel stupid. No. Oh, well. Let's go find somebody to barter with. Hey, you. Ah, you'll do. Save first. Yeah, Hitbox is usually really good about say that. What you have to say. Lie safely. Oh, wait, I gotta listen for small talk. God damn it. <clears throat> Ow! Should be some around in these yokels. It's a recipe for Hello, pilot. What can we offer you? Are you scared by them using xenon components? Be afraid. I know the prospect gives me the heebie jeebies Oh, you know, I'm really glad that the mini game doesn't have that gooey glitch that the other that the gooey has. The time is flying past. I'm really glad we have Hey ATS. Well, no, I yeah, kinda. Saturday's live stream was shit. Absolute shite. Using xenon tech is like playing with fire and in a fuel tank. It's a bad idea. I could try and be clever. I was actually going to play Train Fever this morning on the live stream and then I got tired of that idea. Played a little bit of it this morning and the game pissed me off. has inspired me to help you. I'm ready to assist in any way I can. Let's see. Do I get her drunk? Nah. Take some shiny things. The difference between Xenon and your usual AGI is that AGI don't have the means to reproduce. Yes, I need to hear the rest of it to decide. Okay, baby. I can do that. Plutarch having a Xenon army is bad enough, but what if they get out of control? This is the real threat here. Yes, I know. That's exactly what I'm so worried about. If things go well. out of hand... We ought to be prepared so far, you guys have been quite nice to me, so well as you, I'd be it looks like it's going to be better. I'm ready to assist in any way I can. Okay, so I want employee training. Upgrade skill, combat, or engineering? Engineering! Sure. Yay! I won the minigame! Plutarch scares me anyway. Using Xenon tech. Now there's another le say what you have. Oh boy, say. let's listen to the same conversations again. Are you scared by them using xenon components? Absolutely. Aren't you? Well, one can't deny that xenon are still probably one of the greatest threats to the known universe. At last, someone who doesn't spout rubbish and propaganda. <clears throat> they haven't met my laser. Using xenon tech is like playing with fire near a fuel tank. It's a bad idea. Indeed, but fires can be extinguished. Xenon ships on the rampage. That's another danger entirely. I think we're two of a kind, you know. I almost hit a menu button too early. I look forward to helping out. Give him booze. Accepted. To be honest, I'm not so sure Plutarch has the means to control their new tech for long. It's been tried before unsuccessfully keep going that's just enthralling 
owned. The difference between Xenon and your usual AGI is that AGI don't have the means to reproduce. I haven't had this much intellectual conversation in years. Dude seriously needs to get out more. The Xenon army is bad enough, but what if they get out of control? This is the real threat here. Exactly. Yeah. He tells everyone exactly the same things, and then he also... Everyone also impress is impressed by the same shit. Oh, combat skill. Absolutely. Yeah. Lame. I wouldn't be surprised if that gate led to trouble of some kind. Let me guess. You want something? Want to know what's lurking behind the gate? Yes, yeah, sure. If only to avoid the trouble that lurks behind it. Behind the gates of destiny lies a realm of misery. DeVries is mostly derelict, but there's still some people getting by. Don't mind if I listen while I do something else, do you? Cunt. You could always follow your spirit of adventure and wander the great unknown beyond the gate yourself, you know. Your views are interesting, but your optimism can be grating. Bitch. That was not too unpleasant a way to spend time together. Let me guess, you want something? This bitch, I'm getting drunk. We can all agree to that. Wow. <laughs> Look, there's nothing over there. I mean, there's barely any noticeable economy at all. That's a possible viewpoint if you ignore a few things. Oh good, there's more talk options. I was worried about that. I think teasing her will offend her. Apparently, they're suffering a severe food shortage. You can just tell by looking the Canterans in the eyes. Maybe we could sell them some of our food for a tidy profit. Shit. There goes the option. Oh well. Let's push her into going there. Come on now, you shrinking violet. Get yourself a ride and boldly go where no Plutarch lapdog has oh, God. been before. Or are you scared, perhaps? Please, for pity's sake, shut up. Oh, fuck you. I got screwed by the dialogue options. That is bullshit. Fuck you and your gate phobia, you bitch. Throw you out the airlock and make you fly through in a spacesuit. Take her to that sector that's really close to the sun and throw her out. Let her bake for a while. <laughs> There'll be an economy soon enough. I'm building one of every station at the very least. Bitches won't know what hit them. So, so these dudes are just going to sit around and not talk anymore. I gave you booze, you bitch. Now what? Give me my booze back. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, show me your specialized order on. Oh, dude, he's got better, uh, better beholders. Get rid of those. And... Give me those. Yeah, they've got some kind of weird mineral oil in there instead of water. I'm surprised those fish can breathe it. Ooh, hey. Split say hello. Ah. Ooh, meth. Mm, meth. I have got a lot of amphetamine. In the game. Any listening feds? Hmm. 
I don't think these visas or these blank ID cards are good for anything, are they? Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't have anything else of interest. I wish there was stuff you could do with the visas and blank ID cards. and uh, They've got so many inventory items and not enough crafting recipes. Although they set up the system to do it, so I guess they just need to add more... They could, add, they could set up more combinations and that would be a, a thing... All right, somebody start talking. Let's get this dreadful mini game over with. Ooh, that ball's very shiny. Oh yeah, that'd be a great idea. It's amazing to think that 40 years ago, they didn't even have highways. What can you possibly want? Jeez, oh, snappy little bitch, isn't she? You know, since then, there have been many more advancements. Right, and since then, ever more amazing technology has been developed. The new jump drives are really something, right? They've made some awesome advancements in that field. You come across as very <clears throat> sincere in what you say. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. Instead of targeting really, they should allow you to get the down. goodies without the minigame at all. Beacons in each sector to lock onto. You're a natural speaker. I'm enjoying this. <clears throat> Zip. It's great to have such a stimulating conversation. How may I assist? Great. The unfocused jump drive often damaged the <laughs> jumping ship. With the beacons now in place, we don't run that risk. Granted, it's splendid technology, but doesn't it just take the fun out of flying a little? Advancements in booster technologies now allow for extended use of boosters. I like how what he says has no bearing fuel. on what she just I said to no him. I had no idea extra fuel was needed for that in the past. Thanks for the info. Self-sufficient boosters are now standard issue for all capital ships. That's a significant leap in mobility. I couldn't have <laughs> it myself. How may I assist? Training morale. Sure. Oh. Training book must just be a picture of her boobs. Pilot, come and get some bargains for me. You wouldn't be referring to Barrel's latest research, would you? This whole business with the Xenon is why I stopped working for them. I can't believe this. Of all people, they should know better than to go there once again. Yes, yes, I expect eh? there'll be more on that. I haven't heard this dialogue dare before. Research these xenon trash cans is pure madness. They're in over their heads. With your chat up skills, we could get really close. <laughs> our chat was so zip. Cool. Let's get down to business. Zip. I'm so excited to be helping. Double zip. Here's some booze, honey. Now that sounds good. <laughs> Triple zip. I see why you quit. It's sheer madness what they intend to do. You made the right call. Sure. What more do you want to say about it? <laughs> yeah, that joke never gets old, does it? Except when it does, like it probably just has. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if you're aware of it, but Beryl has something of a history concerning the Xenon. You not only speak well, you listen well, too. Wow. It was the Beryl who built the second generation of terraformers to attack Earth. I do so agree with you. That's quite stimulating. Wow. I'm so excited wow. to be helping. Such, such clunky dialogue. Engineering! Sure, let's do it. 
Well, that paid off. <laughs> At least I managed not to offend, you know, the two non-ugly old ones. For disaster. Oh sure, let's do it. What can we offer you? Are you scared by them using xenon components? Be afraid. I know the prospect gives me the heebie-jeebies. If things get out of hand, we ought to be prepared for it. I love speaking with someone knowledgeable. Maybe we could try and make an AGI fleet of our own, and then pit it against Plutarchs in case things go downhill. What makes you think we could do a better job than Plutarch in controlling them? I'm not so sure. This conversation has inspired me to help you. I'm ready to assist in any way I can. Great! Mm. Well, one can't deny that Xenon are still probably one of the greatest threats to the known universe. Yes, I need to hear the rest of it to decide. Okay. Using Xenon tech is like playing with fire near a fuel tank. It's a bad idea. I could try and be clever and come up with a fire metaphor, but the prospect of a Xenon fleet on the rampage is inflammatory enough. That's another new line of dialogue I've never heard before. At this game a year. To be honest, I'm not so sure Plutarch has the means to control their new tech for long. It's been tried before, unsuccessfully. That is refreshing. We think so alike. I'm ready to assist in any way I can. Okay, more training. Engineering, yay! Sure. Okay, I'm sick of this. So now. Let's pester my crew. Hello, mate. Show me your skills, please. Of course. Hmm. Should probably train him in both. Done. Wow, that was fast. Okay, now he's a badass engineer. And decent at science. Science! <clears throat> Hello, pal. Show me your skills, please. Oh, I've got nothing I can train him with. What a useless bastard. Show me your skills, please. Really? Yes. He's only a three star? Well then. Hold on. Oh, well, okay. Satisfactory. And I'm out of training thingies. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, and then I could just hack a bunch into my save file. Ah, oh, fuck it. Whatever. I could just also edit their stats. That's cheating. I wouldn't want to cheat. Wink, wink. Mmm. Alright, good enough. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I, I don't... I can't imagine how they thought that was entertaining. I feel bad for saying it, but yeah, that, that's just awful. Come on, Betty. Oh, right, she won't announce my... My zones. Won't even say entering system, huh? Beep, beep. Whoa, it's a sausage fest back here. Ah.
Wait a minute. Give me the mission mangler. Alright, so he needs the metallurgic. And they just need extendeds. Or extendings. Okay, so that's it. Why do we have so many goddamn managers? God, that guy is ugly. Okay, let's deal with that first. The ugliness, that is. <laughs> Alright, science guy. Hello, mate. I'm not your guy, buddy. I'm off to assume the new appointment now, sir. Oh shit, I forgot my spacesuit! Hey! I just gave you a metallurgical engineer. Oh, he hasn't gotten there yet, probably. Eh. All right, who else is packed in here? Got this really nice mod added or installed that gives you like, I think it's up to thirteen extra spots or thirteen spots total on the skunk. I think it says in the description. Eleven. I think it goes to thirteen now, though. I think that description is wrong. I digress. Show me your skills, please. Oh, wait. We already did that. Okay, so the construction shop. Ah, good. Now it is happy. It is completely full of product, anyway. And it's still missing food zuzes. Foods is is. Yeah, that's a word. I'm making it a word. Wow. It's an almost, well, it's a 9% efficiency boost. Just from that dude. Nice. Okay, I approve. Make sure everybody's building what they can build. She still needs the things. <laughs> More metal plating, goddammit. The funny part is that station manufactures reinforced metal plating. Wait a minute. Um, game, are you that stupid? Oh, no, no, it's missing right. It needs food, it can't run because it's got no food. Okay. Let's fix that. Because that'll speed up construction quite a bit. I think we need to get a titurel on the on the case. A tit on the case. Nah, I'll send one of my gigagurums. God. One gate and three jumps? That's the closest food rations? God damn. Well. How much? Done. 
Better get to it.